Good morning to all. Welcome to Image Graphics webinar. So this is Fauzan. Uh, actually, I am a manager pre-sales in Image Graphics. And with me, I have uh, Mr. Ahmed Egazi, who is the founder of SECAD Solutions. So our today's topic is uh, new features of SEG V4, uh, which is basically a new version going to be released soon. Okay. Then uh, let's talk about uh, image graphics, who we are exactly. So we are headquartered in Dubai, UAE started our business for more than uh, 25 years offering engineering solutions uh, and we have a strong client base across the India and Middle East and uh, we are 150 plus and growing and this is our website address. Uh, this is basically our presence uh, in India and UAE. So we have offices all over in India and uh, we have offices in UAE as well. So uh, with this, I will hand over the session to Mr. Ahmed to discuss on the current changes in the new version of SEG V4. So Ahmed, over to you. Uh, thank you, Spokesman, for your presentation. Greetings from uh, CCAT Solutions. CCAT Solutions deals with design and engineering solutions in various sectors. Having a vast knowledge in many industries, especially in oil and gas related ones. To know more about the SECAT solutions, kindly visit our website www.secatsolutions.com. For those who didn't have the opportunity to know more about SEG software, through the next short video, we will know more about some of SEG. Uh, software features. As a static equipment manufacturer, designer, or draftsman, you can save up to 80% from your time and money. SEG has helped reduce man hours and costs. No suffer anymore to generate 3D models and workshop drawings. It is a matter of minutes. SEG software makes modeling and detailing of the static equipment much easier, faster, and accurate. You can decrease your working load and increase your efficiency, quality, and ability to engage in more projects in the same time. We care about your requirements and need. Software made by engineers for engineers. SE CAD Solutions offers advanced tool for the accurate and speedy production of 3D digital prototype and workshop drawings deliverables of pressure vessels, towers, storage tanks with fixed roof, heat exchangers, spherical tanks, ducts, slug catchers, and equipment piping. The only existing software can do all of this stuff under one umbrella. Link to Integraph PV Elite Software exported access file. Compressed software exported XML file and HTRI software exported CSV file. SEG delivers significant savings over existing 3D CAD modeling and drafting methods. SEG working over Autodesk Inventor as a platform, and soon, SEG will be available on SolidWorks platform. SEG aids you to generate a 3D digital prototype for your equipment prior manufacturing process and creation of workshop drawings. Easy to get a detailed bill of material, nozzle table, welding details, and more. SEG supports a wide range of equipment designs and configurations. Horizontal, tilted, and vertical vessels. Various supports including saddle skirt, lug, legs, and more are provided. Columns with multi-sectional shells with different diameters and transitional sections. Vessels with half-pipe jackets and coil on shells. Tema heat exchangers and a special tool for tube bundle holing and assembly. A special tool for roof and bottom plates arrangement. Different types of roofs are supported, like radial, arranged plates, and dome roof. SEG supports a wide range of appurtenance features and configurations. Internal, external components are included. More than 30 types of nozzles, clean outdoors, couplings, stud outlet, weld outlet, and thread outlet. More than 12 types of lifting lugs and trunnions. SEG can be mastered in one day of training. As mentioned in SEG promo video, SEG software can do horizontal pressure vessels, vertical pressure vessels, FEMA heat exchangers, storage tanks with fixed roof, columns with multi-sectional sections and the different diameters, slug catcher finger type, 
and the spherical tanks and the ducts. The only existing software can do all of this stuff under one umbrella. During this webinar, we will discuss some points regarding tube sheet cooling better, new options, and the spherical tanks feature, nozzle seating and orientation, nozzle types, nozzle detailing, and uh, duct features. We have a tube sheet created in SCG software. As you can figure out, there is a list for the number of tube passes. You can select the number of uh, the number of passes, and from here we will start defining some information regarding to our case. Let's define the shell inside diameter, the shell thickness, and some other information regarding the tube pass number and from the tube layout pattern you can select the uh, configuration of the pattern rotated square 45 degrees rotated rectangle 30 degrees and you can select the big point and define the big point position after that we will click start creating the holding pattern Now we will come back to the uh, general uh, properties and define the nozzle clearance from the top. As you can figure, we have a limit at the top with this blue line. We will define another limit at the bottom for the uh, bottom nozzle clearance. As you can figure, you can control the limits from top, bottom, right, and left. Now let's define clearance from the right and uh, left uh, sides. So you have an area here inside the tube sheet, you can control the, uh, 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 the location of tubes inside this area. One more option here, we uh, uh, add it in the new uh, version from uh, SEG uh, version 4, uh, to uh, the ability to add a tie rod, ceiling rod, or tube in uh, a defined location by hand. Uh, now we, we add a ceiling rod and define the X and Y locations for this tie rod. Let's add another uh, ceiling rod, define the location uh, on the X direction at zero, and Y with a negative value. So you can edit this value if you right click on the uh, tube itself, or if you would like to know the location, uh, you can get the properties to uh, check the location of this ceiling rod. Now let's add a tie rod from the importing form, define the Y location to be at zero, and define the X location to be 250. Let's add another tie rod, define the locations, and the an X location we will define it in a negative value. Now let's add a tube. By the same way, in, this, in the import list, we have a tube, so you can add a tube. Let's define the tube location in X and Y direction. After adding it, if you right click on the tube and open the edit form, you can modify the location of this tube. So let's change it. So as you can see, we change the tube location. Uh, the new feature for the uh, spherical tanks we can divide the main parts of the spherical tanks to three main uh, items. The top end parts and the bottom end parts, the intermediate parts. For the top and the bottom ends, there are two different ways to define the segments for the end. The first uh, type by defining the diameters and arc lengths as bare at the below figure. The second uh, way to define the uh, top and the bottom uh, ends by defining the arc lenses as bear the image on the right hand side. Both of them shall give you the same configuration as mentioned here on the 3D model for the top and the bottom ends. The intermediate parts, we can divide the intermediate parts to small segments. And we have two main types here. The first type for the small segments 
is the complete number of segments. The other type is the staggered number of segments, as you can figure on the second image. For the intermediate part, second type is the large segments. Here you can make it with a complete number of segments, like this image. The difference between large segment and the small segment, you can figure that the large segment uh, cross the center line of the spherical tank. Part of the segment will be above the center line, and part of it will be below the uh, tank center line. The second uh, configuration here with the staggered number of items for the uh, uh, large segments on the intermediate parts. SCEG support different type of support uh, legs. The first type uh, is the support leg with a pressing plate, support leg with the pressing angles, support leg with pressing pipes. In this uh, sample, we have a spherical tank with a top and bottom ends and intermediate segments. Now we will create the 3D model for the spherical tank. As you can figure, the intermediate segments created by using the uh, staggered uh, segments. And uh, easily you can generate uh, that by sending the comments from SEG software to Autodesk Inventor to generate the 3D model. Now let's uh, take a section on a uh, view section on the support link to see the detail inside the support link, the uh, stiffener plates. And you can easily get the uh, sheet metal development uh, for the uh, plates. So if we use a tiny surface of source and get the flat pattern, you, get, you can get the uh, sheet metal development for the sheet plates, like that. Now we will discuss the third point, which is nozzle seating and orientation. Uh, as known that the seating of uh, nozzles uh, can be defined as a seat in, in this uh, type, the uh, internal side uh, of the shell uh, or the main element will be the control uh, surface for the nozzle end, seat on, and the nozzles with internal projection. Regarding to the nozzle orientation, we have radial nozzles, or helicide nozzles, or tangential nozzle, or a tilted nozzle. Sometimes we can mix between those. Uh, we can make a helicide nozzle with a tilted nozzle, or a tangential nozzle and tilted nozzle in the same time. In the next slides, we will discuss the available uh, types uh, of nozzles in SEG software. Uh, the first type is the uh, nozzle uh, uh, created from a pipe, which is the nozzle neck from a seamless pipe. And you can easily get the shell development for the reinforced band or the uh, insert plate. Another type which is nozzle uh, from plate, the neck uh, nozzle will be created or um, uh, manufactured from a plate. Here we have uh, a sample for uh, a nozzle as a helicide and a tilted nozzle at the same time. And easily by using SEG software you can get the shell development for the reinforced band for this nozzle. The same for the neck of the nozzle. You can get the shell development for the uh, 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 neck uh, nozzle, which created from plate. Here in this uh, sample, uh, we have this uh, tilted and helicide nozzle. Easily you can open the shell plate and get the shell development for this nozzle including the uh, nozzle cut on the shell. And the same for the nozzle neck and the nozzle rebad. If we open the nozzle neck, you can get easily the sheet metal development 
for the nozzle neck. The same for the reinforced band. If you open it and get the sheet metal flat pattern, you can get the shell development or the blade development for the reinforced band. Another types for the uh, nozzles uh, supported in SEG software, the long weld neck nozzles according to ASAMI and BSEN 1082 and the uh, self-reinforcement uh, long weld neck with uh, lips and self-reinforcement long weld neck without flange. And here you can get uh, a detailed sketch for those nozzles as mentioned on the below images for each type of those nozzles. Another uh, types as uh, famous types for the forged hub and self-reinforcement forged hub with lips and you can get the same detail uh, drawing for both of them uh, and the uh, uh, the section here is a uh, 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 align the section to get the uh, section on the longitudinal and the circumference direction of this nozzle. You can create integral hub nozzles and self uh, reinforcement integral hub with uh, lips, and you can get easily the same detail uh, drawing for those nozzles. Another type of uh, uh, openings uh, you can create a rectangular opening. And you can get easily the uh, sheet metal development uh, for the reinforced bed and for this opening neck. The oval uh, opening and the same you can get the sheet metal development for the opening, uh, the re bed and the uh, neck opening. Here in this uh, sample, we will uh, open this nozzle for example. And we will open the uh, sheet metal part for this neck and you can easily get the shell development for this one. The same for the reinforced band. And for the uh, oval uh, opening, we will open this part and get the shell development for this opening. Another type of nozzles which is a, a nozzle con, uh, connection between two vessels. Uh, uh, you can make it from a seamless pipe or from plate. Here in this uh, sample, we have a nozzle connected between two vessels and easily you can get the sheet metal development for this uh, plate, which is uh, uh, used as a connected pipe between two vessels and the same for the reinforced back. Uh, regarding the creation of drawings, we have here a nozzle as a forged hub nozzle with uh, lips and uh, a connected flange. We create a group for this nozzle uh, to create uh, the uh, a detailed drawing for this nozzle. We will uh, open the uh, drawing form to create a drawing for this uh, assembly and select the size of the drawing, define the uh, views that require, define the uh, elevation view, make the lines as visible lines, define the location and uh, scale of the view, select the tables if required. After that we will click on create drawing to start creating the detailed drawing for this uh, nozzle. Now you can create a section, we will make a quarter section Okay, in this quarter section, we will make it aligned to get the two sides on the same plan, like this. So the longitudinal and the circumference cut will appear on the same plan. After that, you can define the uh, nozzle dimensions like the forged hub, the lip width, the hub thickness, the bevel height, outside diameter of the nozzle, and the nozzle thickness.
another type of nozzles available in SEG software, which is the nozzles according to the API. SEG give you the ability to create nozzles according to the API. Those nozzles uh, include uh, different options for uh, circular rebads or diamond rebad or a low type uh, circular rebad or a diamond low type uh, uh, reinforced band. And you can easily get the shell development or sheet metal development for the reinforced band and nozzle neck if it's created from plate. Another uh, type of openings uh, included in SEG software for the clean outdoors for storage tanks according to the API. So you can uh, create different type of uh, supported uh, hinge for the clean outdoor based on the size of the uh, clean outdoor so you can select the suitable type for uh, uh, for the uh, david support david uh, for your uh, for your uh, tank another uh, uh, openings available in seg software like weld OLED and thread OLED, stud outlet and coupling and half half coupling. Now we will discuss uh, some uh, features for the uh, ducts. Uh, SEG uh, version 4 support uh, duct features. And here on the next slide we will uh, discuss the available types of ducts in SEG software. The first type is the uh, Y transition uh, connection, the elbow dog leg, pipe and the cone uh, reduced duct, rectangular duct, and the rect uh, reduced uh, rectangular duct. For each type of those, we have uh, some sub uh, types. For example, for the Y transition, we have uh, asymmetrical connection, the symmetrical connection, rectangular T, rectangular Y, and shifted Y. Here in this uh, uh, type, which is the asymmetrical type, you can figure the configuration of this type, which include one inlet and two exits. Both uh, elements created from plate, and you can easily open each part and get the sheet metal development for this uh, part. The second type, which is uh, symmetrical uh, connection, if you take a look to the image on the right hand side, you can uh, get that we have uh, an inlet and two exits. And uh, easily by using uh, SE software and Autodesk Inventor, you can get the sheet metal development <coughs> for the blades. Another type, which is rectangular T. Okay, the same option, but it's rectangular, not a circular uh, end, uh, uh, start and end. Rectangular Y. Another connection, which is rectangular shifted Y. And you can get the sheet metal development for all of those parts. Now we will uh, go to the next slide, uh, which uh, we can discuss in this slide, the available type of elbows in SEG software. Uh, circular uh, and rectangular uh, with the same diameter. So we can generate an elbow as a rectangular elbow uh, with the same uh, inlet and exit dimensions. Another type for uh, the circular uh, elbow we can generate it from two segments or three, four or five segments like the image 
below here so you can control the number of segments of this elbow another type of elbows which is circular or rectangular reduced elbow you can make a reduced uh, elbow with uh, inlet and exit with different dimensions so you, it's a reduced uh, elbow from plate you can create a circular uh, reduced elbow from two segments three four five and the six segments by using SEG software dog leg there are two types of the dog leg the first one is the dog leg as a circular uh, path or a rectangular path for the circular path it's created from three uh, pieces like mentioned in this 3d model and you can easily open each part and get the shell development or sheet metal development for this part the same for the rectangular dog leg you can make it from one plate so each uh, piece of those you can create it from one plate or two plates or four plates here you have the dog leg with the rectangular section and the same you can get the shell uh, development for each piece of this duct another type of ducts which is pipe and the cone rectangular duct it includes three different types the circular duct cone duct and the rectangular to reduce or uh, two, two circular duct the first type which is circular duct you can control the start uh, angle uh, start chamfer and end chamfer angle the orientation of the chamfer angle at the start or end and you easily can get the uh, sheet metal development for this part the second type is cone duct you can control the start end and the shifted dimensions for the uh, end diameter you can make a chamfer at uh, the start or end and easily you can get sheet metal development for the uh, duct plate another type which is rectangular to circular duct by defining the uh, rectangular dimensions length and width and define the end diameter of the cone which is the circular diameter you can define the chamfer angle at the beginning or at the end the orientation angle for the chamfer at the end or the start and easily you can get the sheet metal development for this uh, uh, duct as we can see here rectangular ducts uh, the first type is a rectangular uh, pipe, rectangular cone, or twisted uh, cone. Here in this video, you can create uh, the rectangular duct from one plate, and in this option you can make it on corner, or you can make it on the mid of one of those surfaces. You can make it from two plates or four plates. You can control the chamfer at the beginning or at the end. And you can get the sheet metal development for uh, this element. Another type which is a rectangular cone with a rectangular start and end. You can control the dimensions uh, to, to shift the end exit. By controlling the H and V dimensions and the same you can make it from one plate two plates or four plates here
and easily you can get the sheet metal development for this part. A rectangular uh, twisted cone, uh, you can twist the end of this cone uh, by giving uh, an orientation angle for the end. It's created from uh, four uh, segments like that. You can figure it out from the 3D view. And easily you can get the sheet metal development for each surface. And after getting the four sides, you can get the uh, sheet metal development for the four sides like that. The uh, uh, topics covered during this session. We discuss the tube sheet holding pattern and new options, spherical tanks features, nozzle seating and orientation, nozzle types, nozzle detail drawings, ducts new features. And here are some uh, real samples created by SEG software. Team heat exchanger a desolter unit with internal piping and binding support Here are some uh, drawings created by SEG software. So you can get easily how much details you can get uh, in your drawings. Uh, thank you for your uh, attending this uh, webinar and uh, if you have uh, any questions kindly contact us here you have the uh, contact emails uh, for the image graphics technical support and the ECAT solutions technical support okay thanks for all for your uh, attending this uh, webinar and inshallah we will uh, uh, prepare another uh, webinar to discuss another features uh, included in uh, version 4 of SEG software uh, like uh, adding a tool for the uh, integration tool with the compress by reading the exported XML file and how we can create a pressure vessel by using the exported XML file from uh, compress to generate the 3D model and detailed drawings. On the next webinar, inshallah, we can uh, discuss uh, that and many other uh, features in version 4. This version, inshallah, will be available by the end of April. Uh, 
uh, and uh, we will uh, inform uh, all of our customers about that uh, and uh, we mention uh, all of our followers on LinkedIn and YouTube regarding the uh, new release date. Thank you so much for your uh, time and have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.